Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we are back once again with the Mister. And you might notice that my Mister is missing a few parts because I'm about to assemble all of it into a case, and I had to take it apart to do that. And I thought this might be a fun opportunity to look at what you can do with just the DE10 nano board that is the start of any Mister project. This costs about $140. You can find it on Amazon. And when you get this board, uh, you can actually install all of the Mister software and start running some, but not all, of the cores. What you will need, of course, is the SDRAM module to get full compatibility, but there are a number of things that run just on the board by itself. And I thought I would step through a couple of those things here just to give you a sense as to what you can do on day one. And then of course you can get all of your other parts in and expand your compatibility from there. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mister, I do suggest you check out the playlist you'll find in the video description. We've done a lot of content on it. In a nutshell, this is a hardware platform that very accurately replicates classic game consoles, classic computers, and arcade games through the use of a field programmable gate array chip. And this provides very accurate hardware replication. Uh, but again, you definitely want to check out what I did already on the topic so you can get a better idea as to what you can do with your own mister. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for all of this stuff here with my own funds, with the exception of the uh, game controller here, which came in free of charge from 8BitDo, and of course the uh, USB hub here that came in from Amazon through their Vine program. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, nor is anyone reviewing or approving it before it gets uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what kind of cores we can load up on just the DE10 Nano. All right, so we're ready to go here. I've got the Mr. booted up and running with just the DE10 Nano board, and you'll see everything sort of works here. Uh, one thing to note, though, is that my little RAM chip here is not filled in, and that's because we have no SD RAM in the DE10 Nano. So if I go over to one of the computer cores here and, for example, maybe load up the Commodore 64, uh, what will happen here is we just get nothing. It'll, it'll run the core, essentially, but because there's no RAM on board, uh, this isn't going to work. But there are a number of cores that do work, and there is a list that you can find out there. I'll put it down below in the video description. And I got this list from Smoke Monster's Discord. If you haven't followed Smoke Monster, you should definitely go onto his channel and check it out because he's got a lot of great information on the Mister and all the things you can do with it. And we'll step through a few of the cores that I have installed on here that we can run. So for example, if we wanted to load up the Commodore 16, uh, we can get that going without the SD RAM, and there you go. So there are a number of things here that do work. Uh, I also believe the Apple II core works, so we'll try that real quick here and see what we get. And there we go, I've got the Apple IIe uh, booting up there. So there's a number of computer cores that work. I believe also you can get uh, the AO486, which is the uh, DOS core, and I can even load up uh, Windows 3.1 that I have installed on here too. Uh, so that's up and running. And by the way, if you want to get more of a context as to how to get this thing set up initially or some of the other things you can do with it, I've got a playlist down below that will give you the full list of uh, things that I have done already. And you can also watch a video where I set this thing up from scratch so you can see all of the steps needed to get it going. But as you can see here, uh, the Windows Core is working just fine along with a few other of those computer cores. Let's take a look and see what else we can do with the Mister. All right, so we've got the Atari 2600 core running here on the Mister without any SD RAM attached. Uh, it's possible this core might get worked on and changed, and actually that disclaimer will go for any of the cores we're playing with today. Uh, but at the time I'm recording this video, it looks like it is working just fine, and I can get my Space Invaders fix in here uh, without any additional parts. All right, so let's hit the F12 key and switch cores. And one of the things that I love about the Mister, as I've talked about before, is just how fast that core switching is. Now, ColecoVision is on the list of cores that work without the SD RAM module. And as you'll see here, uh, once it resets, it does give you the main screen here. But if I try to load a ROM on it, uh, it won't work. So if we go to like bump and jump here, for example, it's not detecting the cartridge. So I have a feeling that uh, the ColecoVision is putting uh, that, or at least the core, is putting that cartridge into the SD RAM to, to run from, and it's not working here. So that one doesn't work, uh, at least for me. And if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments. Uh, some of the other cores, like the NES and some of the popular 8-bit consoles, all require 
uh, that uh, SD RAM. But what does work is the Sega Genesis, again, without the need for the extra RAM. Uh, so we'll load the core up here. I've got Sonic the Hedgehog here ready to load up, and it will start running, and we can play uh, most of the Sega Genesis library here without any additional SD RAM needed. Uh, note, though, that you cannot get the Sega CD games to work without that SD RAM module. Remember, the uh, Sega CD module is a separate unit, uh, or at least a separate core, uh, which does make use of that SD RAM, so you will need to be looking at that. Uh, one thing that I'm noticing here is that it's running a little bit slower, and that's because the region set itself to EU, so it's running at that uh, slower frame rate. So if I just do a quick reset here, uh, I believe we should get it at full speed now once it comes back up. So let's just double check that and make sure that that is uh, what was happening. Yeah, it looks like it's running faster now. So let's try this again and see how the Sega Genesis core works. Yeah, that feels much, much better. Uh, you might be seeing a little bit of clipping on screen just because I am shooting this at 30 frames per second and the game, of course, runs at 60. Uh, but all is good here without the SD RAM. Another thing that we can run on here is the TurboGrafx-16. So you can replicate uh, the early 16-bit wars uh, because not only does the TurboGrafx-16 run, the Super Graphics also runs. Uh, so we can load up here one of the uh, Super Graphics games. Let's take a look at Ghouls and Ghosts and that. Uh, is running here also without any DRAM. So there's a lot of stuff you can get going here right out of the gate. You've got pretty much the entire Sega Genesis library. Uh, you've got the Super Graphics and the Turbo Graphics 16, uh, which would also, of course, include the PC Engine uh, in Japan and other parts of the world. So there's a lot of things that you can get going with uh, just by getting that DE10 Nano board delivered. And I think it's a lot of fun here. But there's some other things that run on here, too, that you might want to try out. Let's see what else we can do. Now, you also might be surprised to see that the GBA core will run on here without the need for additional SD RAM. So you get a huge library of games with uh, these three popular, somewhat recent uh, game consoles. And as you can see, the GBA core here is running as nicely as it would if we did have that RAM installed. Also of note, arcade cores are working, including some of my favorites from the 80s, like Pac-Man and Burger Time. Arcade compatibility, of course, may change over time as more advanced cores get released. Now, when you do get your mister put together, I do suggest that you go with a 128 megabyte module because that will give you the most compatibility. So be sure to get one of these first. Uh, they're often in short supply, so you might have to wait a little bit for it to get to you. So you'll want to order that first before you uh, wait too long because you'll be waiting probably just after the order is placed. Uh, and then you can, of course, run the full Mr. Library of cores and uh, games from there. But it's great to see that there's a lot that you can do uh, with just the DE10 Nano on its own. So uh, I would say go through the playlist that I set up here, and I would also check out uh, Smoke Monster's channel. He's done a really good overview of what uh, the Mister is all about, so you can get a better sense as to what this project is and is not. Uh, but it's something I think a lot of enthusiasts have been very excited about because it is really focused on hardware accuracy and getting all of these old games to work exactly the way we remembered them working, yet you can get them functioning uh, on your HD television. And there's a lot to this. And it's one of these projects that I like a lot just because there's always something to do with it. Things are always changing. There's always new hardware coming out. There's always just things to do. And it's something that is a nice little hobby project that I think will keep you going for a long time. So definitely pick up that uh, DE10 Nano board to get started. Again, you'll have a lot you can do with it right when it shows up. Uh, and then get your RAM module, get your I.O. board, and move on from there. And again, check out the playlist down below to get more uh, information as to what all of this stuff does and how it all works together. More to come, though, on the Mister. Uh, so stay tuned. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.